this is a 200 gram box of high performance um, PLA filament in white for Creality printers. So this is designed to print at high speeds. Let's try it out with a few benches. All right, we cut the seal. Let's open it up. Had a disc and packet inside. It's Creality Color Hyper PLA White, 1.75 plus or minus 0 0.03 millimeters, 200 grams. So it's not a large amount. It's just you know a two tenths of a kilogram. Um, nozzle temperature is 190 to 230, bed temperature 25 to 60, printing speed 40 to 600 millimeters a second. All right, I've purged all of the uh, previous filaments out of there. Let's give this guy a shot. So as a starting point, I'm just using Cura's default extra fast profile with default um, PLA. And this is just a 60 millimeter a second um, print speed. Now I have several layers over my bed temperature sensor, so I've set my bed temp to 70 and the nozzles at 200. So here we go at 60 millimeters a second, kind of the baseline benchmark. All right, took uh, basically 53 minutes here to complete that at the standard 60 millimeters a second rate. All right, we have a wrap I put in on the bottom to make sure it's stuck. I have a little bit of burnt plastic embedded in the base. This right here is a little bit rough as it goes up there without supports. Um, the overhangs look very nice. There's just a tiny little bit of plastic on the bottom of these guys. Texture on the top surfaces looks good. All in all, I'm pretty happy with this printing at kind of my default 60 millimeters a second. My printer's not a speed demon, so we're going to double that to 120 and see what happens. All right, we're doing 120 millimeters a second for the fastest things here. I can see it definitely is going faster than before. We'll see how the quality matches up. All right, so that took 41 minutes and 57 seconds. Obviously, doubling the maximum print speed doesn't help much if the object you're printing is so small, your acceleration uh, constant is going to take over a uh, bigger portion of what's going on there. All right, so the big difference I can see here is at this unsupported overhang in the front, there's definite like wrinkles and places where that um, plastic isn't nice and smooth. There's a little bit also on this back corner here. Um, the upper part of the benchy still looks pretty darn good. Um, so mostly the filament's extruding just fine. It's just my printer's developing oscillations. I mean, it only is supported on one side on the Z-axis there. Um, so I am going to turn this speed up as high as it'll basically go without mucking with my acceleration limits. All right, technically I have this guy at 350 millimeters a second, but it's being limited a lot by corners and slowing down and moving back and forth here and there. So at the long edges there, that's about the fastest you're ever gonna see anything. And I'm definitely hearing a little bit of popping from the filament. Um, and it doesn't look like that bottom brim was quite as smooth as in some of these other ones. So we'll take a look at this and see how it turns out when we're done with it. So you can see the speed up when it's doing long runs, but a lot of little detail bits it slows down for. So as we get up to the top with the small disconnected pieces, it doesn't have the long runs to go really full tilt. All right, even cranking the speed way up, it's still 39 minutes to print this thing. Haven't had any problems at all with the filament. I think the uh, limiting factor here is definitely my printer. Yeah, I'm not really noticing differences between the uh, 120 millimeters per second and the 350 millimeters per second. Um, this right here might be just a little bit less nice. This in the front looks about the same. Um, everything else is small enough, it never really gets up to that high speed anyways with all the acceleration and deceleration. 
um, limits that I have currently on the printer. So I think realistically the max speed that my printer can really do is about 120, 150 millimeters a second. So I'm not really stressing and testing this filament too much, but it's worked just fine for me here.